What is up, guys? Doubles back in with a brand new video, and today we're gonna be checking out day one of Season of Discovery. Is this just going to be Ascension 0.5, or will this actually be fun and worth playing? That's what I want to find out today. We're gonna be playing through day one, giving you my full experience, making a warlock character, and guys, this was not a bad class decision. Hope you guys enjoy all of day one, and let's jump right in. Okay guys, I am currently trying to log into Season of Discovery right now. It is actually seven minutes past when it was supposed to launch and every realm is currently offline. I cannot get in. I will say the goal for this video really is just to see if this is going to feel like Project Ascension on day one. Uh, and that's because I've played literally every bit of Ascension that you could possibly play. If anybody's going to know if it feels like Ascension, it's gonna be me. No, no. He's got a point. There's literally nobody, in my honest opinion, that's going to be able to give you a more accurate take as to the feel and the comparison than me. And so I'm excited, right? So hopefully someday the servers actually come online and we can make some kind of determination in this video. And I'll see you guys as soon as that happens. Okay, shit, I think it's actually on. I think it's actually on. I'm trying to get into Lone Wolf right now because it, you know, resonates with me, I guess. Living Flame, Wild Growth. Lone Wolf, right? How many people are gonna click that one because it sounds the coolest, right? Like, nobody's going to Wild Growth right now. I know that much. 11 minutes later. Okay, so after it quit bugging out on me, it put me in queue, and I'm over 2,000 in queue. I promise I was one of the first, man. Although I'm sure everybody says it. Okay, so like, what are the chances I get my name? I've already done the math. I think it's something like a 0 0.07423, repeating, of course, percent chance that I get my name. It's not high. I'll go for McDouble. I'll go for doobie and then I'll just make some shit up. I guess I'll see you guys when the queue finally ends because you will not catch me on wild growth 346 minutes later. Uh, I did get in earlier than I thought I got my name and you know what? I don't care. That's wonderful. I actually got the proc chance. Can I get doobie? Of course not. That one's a little too universal, right? Now, I don't want to be a female orc warrior for sure. Body type one, body type two. I don't know. Like, do I go gnome? Do I go like gnome warlock? All right, guys, I'm thinking no warlock. I'm going in. Destruction warlock. Who knows? metamorphosis it awaits me let's get in the so first thing i'm seeing i go to my spell book right i have a runes tab right there very very interesting i'm gonna start going for my quest and yeah we will see how we can do so i am going warlog for a variety of reasons the first and foremost one is chaos bolt i'm actually very excited to try chaos bolt in vanilla wow especially at low levels i'm kind of hoping that i'll be able to like one shot some people it depends on how the tuning is i've done no preliminary testing haven't been watching other people's videos no clue in this regard how it's going to go as i always tend to say one thing i love about playing classic wow is the sheer smoothness of it all and of course my freaking wolf gets stolen asap gonna okay that one gets stolen asap but yeah it is super smooth it feels really good to play on something so smooth with so many players around it did take me a solid almost two hours actually to get into the game after it was supposed to actually launch i did get this wolf we'll kill him with that shadow bolt now, i did play a warlock in my turtle wild playthrough like a freaking year ago right so it's gonna be an interesting juxtaposition in that regard. TWoww didn't have as much for Warlock, right? And uh, as I mentioned in my last TWoww video, it's obviously going to go on the back foot for now as I play some Sod and stuff like that. We'll get back to that series eventually for sure. I can only imagine. But yeah, there's a lot of new stuff with the Chaos Bolt and there's the Metamorphosis tanking and we'll definitely have to try being a tank and we'll just give our take on it. But I'm very, very interested to understand exactly how runes work because nothing is currently being explained to me and I can't even find a wolf right now. Okay, just got abyss robe for this level the frayed robe i'll definitely take that so we're gonna go away from the uh typical red robe that you start with and go for some swag i'll definitely take that for sure like i said hey i'm actually able to get wolves right now if i can get abyss uh like preferably a green small pouch you know but um you know i'll, I'll definitely oh abyss boots frayed shoes uh, but if I could find, like, a, a black one, that would be good. I'm not a big fan of the red pouch. It just never vibes with me. It just feels a little bit too much. But uh, the blue one honestly puts a smile on my face. So almost every pouch is bis. But I think on the hierarchy, like, I think we all have to agree the red one's kind of, like, on the very... Actually, brown is on the true bottom. But red is, like, right above brown. So as long as we don't get brown or red, I think we're in a really good spot if we can get a pouch early. But we're doing really good. Oh, look at this. I have a runes thing going on when I open up my character, uh, like, panel. 
That's very interesting. This is what everybody memed about, and this is what everybody compared to Ascension WoW. It is true that Ascension WoW once looked similar to this, but also they are fundamentally different. Ascension WoW had 17 different slots for an enchant, and uh, that made it very overwhelming for a vast majority of people, and they've kind of been fixing that ever since. Whereas Sod is starting on the opposite end of the spectrum, which I do think is better, because if you start on the- oh, what the hell? A reagent for use in a summoning ritual. I can't carry any more of those. I already have a wolf jawbone. Okay. Anyway, again, with all due respect, by the way, I just got Biss pants. Anyway, like I was saying, I truly do think with all due respect that, like, starting small is the way to go, because you can build up, meet people's expectations, starting with, like, a lot of enchants, and then trying to work your way and whittle your way down probably will never work. So, again, there could potentially be some pros to this. I really am coming into this with a very open mind. I want to enjoy this. I am a really, really, really bad fanboy for World of Warcraft, and that means I overlook everything and I just want to play more WoW. When Blizzard releases a new version, I play it. Sometimes I hate myself for it, but I still play it. Rabbit handler gloves, by the way, Biss for my level. Dude, I'm actually, like, getting so much Biss. What is this? Tainted Memorandum. Uh, I think that's just the normal Warlock quest stuff. I really want to know what I'm going to do with this wolf jawbone. Yeah, it very much is intrigues me right now as to what this wolf jawbone is going to be for, but I can only imagine it's for one of the new warlock enchants. That's my thought, the runes, I should say. I think I saw somebody with haunt, but there's just no way that's true. I bet you probably almost nobody has any of the new runes, but I feel like I saw something sussy, dude. There's no way that's true. I, I really do. What the hell? Altar of light, and it's clickable. I don't think that was always there, right? I think they want you to literally discover stuff, which is interesting. Have I always had quests here as a warlock like that? Beginnings and stolen power. Okay, so this is what I have to do for a summon imp in uh, Classic WoW. Just oh, don't laugh at me, bro. And then, oh my god, Engrave Runes Haunt. I wasn't dumb. Somebody did have haunt. Dude, I'm over here like, nah, you're an idiot. Don't even put that in the video. I was right. Unleash a ghostly soul on an enemy, dealing 20 to 24 damage. I'm assuming it's shadow damage. It also increases all shadow damage over time you deal to the target by 20%. When it ends or is dispelled, I'm healed for all the damage is dealt to my target. This is interesting. Affliction Warlock is um kind of sussy while leveling, right, in classic. So this makes it a lot better. Also, I get, uh, you know, I told you, I already had bisque gloves because the rabbit handler ones were the best of the six armor gloves, but they give me some like uh, fingerless gloves. They're so freaking edgy. So anyway, this guy says, recover the rune from a group of trogs southwest of Anvilmar and use it to learn a new ability. So they are teaching me about runes immediately and I'll get my amp. Oh my God, that is so good. Okay, I did not expect that, but I will definitely take it. So you basically get one rune for free from what I can see and the warlock gets haunt, which is not a bad one to give for free. I mean, let's be real. All of us probably would have expected one of the more boring enchants to be given for free. Like 10% more crit to you and your pet, right? Like it's not that that one's bad, it's just it's boring. But no, they gave you an interesting one, an on-use one that you can use immediately. So my first thought is it could be at this camp right here, which is like pretty much unused typically. People are killing things, so maybe everyone has to kill these guys. And I have to kill them anyway for a quest, so... It did say Southwest, and this is Southwest. Rockjaw Foot Locker. Maybe that's always been there. I'll open it though. Rune of Haunting. Yeah. Oh! Teaches me a new engraving ability. I'll use that. Uh, you have learned how to create a new item, Engrave Gloves Haunt. Oh my god, no currency or anything. Like, actually so big brained. Wait, is that the quest though? Like, I already have it? I didn't even have to actually complete the quest. Oh, okay, I can go turn it in. Let's go turn this in though and get corruption. Actually, let's use this. Oh my God, it's instant? No, oh, I expected a cast time. I didn't fully read the ability. I'm just like thinking, okay, I know what haunt is. Why would I bother? No. Yo, it's instant. What the hell? That is broken on like 14 different levels. It's actually broken. Like that's actually overpowered. Holy shit, that's actually overpowered. I feel you guys over there at the Blizzard team. What the hell? That's actually overpowered. Oh man. This taught me a lesson today. Don't go into this thinking that just because I think I know what the ability is, that I actually know. Look, I've played every expansion of WoW. I know so many different versions of so many different abilities from so many different expansions. I would think I would not fail, but I did not expect instant cast haunt. I should have read it, man. I should have fully read it. Have Stolen power. Now. Have a great day. Thank you. Was I right? And I'm just like not thinking. It's emulate that you get early. Okay. I can't believe it was as easy as opening a chest. I really thought I was going to have to go for like a 1% drop rate on the trogs. I keep expecting a certain level of design that would make me want to pull my hair out. I have to admit so far, I haven't encountered it. Even with all the little things Classic WoW gives you, like I have auto loot turned on right now. I'm using a Dragonflight UI, uh, you know, add-on thing, and uh, you can find that in the description below. Like, all of this is super, super awesome. I wonder what every other class got early, dude. I think you guys really have to understand what it means to have Biss this early. Uh, I just picked up a frayed belt. I mean, that's not like a small thing. I also have my snow boots right now. 
Um, I'm really, really balling out with my gear, and it's literally only going to get better. The only thing I'm missing is a pouch, my friends, but I got that frayed cloak. I even got that trog dagger. Didn't even know that was in the game, uh, but it's definitely better by lieu of the name itself than the worn dagger that I start with. Plus, it's a little faster, right? It's literally better. And you might be saying, McDoubles, you're a warlock. Why do you care about your weapon speed? There are times where I have meleeed, I'll just have you know. I will melee now slightly faster. Literally every time I see something, some Somebody's already attacking it. <laughs> okay, I see one. And boom! Double it up with the haunt! Oh, he res- Really? Is that how we're gonna play this? Yeah, it wouldn't be vanilla WoW if somebody wasn't trying to create a macro and they just spam general chat with it. So the first feeling I'm getting right now is that Blizzard has people right now working for them, working on Sod, that are doing what I like to do when I think of games. They are prioritizing fun rather than conceptualizing and theorizing on what a game should be based on really, really cringe parameters that really aren't worth getting into, but trust me, it happens. And uh, you know what? I like it. And you know why I thought about that? I thought about it because Haunt has a 12 second cooldown. This is really interesting to me. It's like extremely interesting to me because everything I've encountered so far has an inherent subtle or maybe not so subtle implication that they are trying to make you have fun rather than once again hyper conceptualizing and theorizing on trying to make this perfect game um and you know it doesn't mean it's not going to be balanced either by the way i think a lot of people mess that up and that's why they try too hard i'll just say and uh, I, i'm just really in it right now i'm actually having so much fun it's not even funny <laughs> It's great. There we go, guys. Level four. And yes, I do use a RuneScape add-on to give me RuneScape music when I level up. Do not judge me. Okay, let's keep on going. Um, okay. So there's a little gnome. His name is Gaklik Void Twist. He's a soul broker. He says, I seek the soul of one who is wanted and the soul of one who is innocent. Bring these to me and you will be handsomely rewarded. Uh, a soul of one who is wanted might be Edwin Van Queef, right? But I I'm not really too sure who the guy that's innocent is. Hopefully we can figure this out. I am level six right now. Greetings and uh, life tap or rank two shadow bolt. I'm going to go for the rank two shadow bolt in a moment. All right, there we go. We have rank two shadow bolt and does it auto update? Nope, it's vanilla. Okay. Can't have all the quality of life in the world, you know? Okay, I'll take it. All right, guys. Big milestone kind of, right? Boom. What the fuck? No XP for this quest? Damn, that's cringe. <laughs> that's actually really cringe. Oh, wait, how about now? How about now? Boom! There we go. Level 8. I will take it. It's not really a big milestone, but I am happy to get there, so... Alright, guys, this is the true moment. Well Talking to Marshall Duggan and acquiring... Level 10. I'll take it. So there is actually delay right now. It just took like a solid six seconds to get that quest. There must be a absolutely ridiculous amount of people online right now. Now, level 10 is actually a big deal. I can do the Voidwalker stuff. I am hoping I don't have to go back to Dunmoreau to make that happen. It looks like I don't. I can just do this stuff here. I am obviously in Elwyn Forest now because why wouldn't I? The human zone, the human like progression is just really good. He wants me to go to Gak in the Dark Binder in the Mage Quarter of Stormwind. Cool. And as a level 10, I already have my fear for from level eight. If you recall, it said I had to get the soul of two types of people. And my inclination there is to think that, yeah, Blizzard's actually going to make me cast Drain Soul on specific NPCs. So I don't know which NPCs to cast it on, but I'm just going to start casting it. I will say it's been a freaking trip right now. Like I am so strong. It's pretty unbelievable. Haunt is OP. And what's even better about it is that I could pull things. Um, and so when I was competing for mobs, I would win, I would say like a solid eight out of 10 times. The only guy that could pull better than me is a Moonfire Druid. Like, that's it. Imagine, dude. Like, I did not have that strength before, and now I do. Anyway, this is pretty big. We got the Life Tap, if that ever becomes relevant, although I've had no mana problems really so far. I've maybe drank four times the entire playthrough. It does feel easy, and I just can't put my finger on it. I guess, like, adding one extra ability does make a big difference, but also, uh, drop rates. I'm not really sure if these are like, I know this sounds weird, but Blizz-like. Look, I don't know if they already put out information that said they increased drop rates or something like that, but what I do know is that when you're in Dunmoreau and you do the Yeti Pelt quest, it never drops. Well, I got all of them every single time on the first kill, so I'm not saying every quest was exactly like that, but a lot of the ones I recognized as being like super, super tedious just weren't. I've heard about this and I found it, a frozen murloc. So apparently the way this works is you have to do fire damage to it 
And, uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll find out what happens. Dude, Frozen Murloc, what does it mean? I have heard about this, uh, because I am trying to see if there are any websites where people have found runes yet. I heard about this in the Undead Zone, actually, and, uh, it mentioned it being a Murloc, and I thought there's only Murlocs really here and over here. There was nothing here, but there was a Warlock who I saw kill this guy right as I ran up. I waited for the spawn, and I'm seeing if I can make this happen. This person says I need other people to help me kill the frozen murloc. Cast fire spells. Help me. <laughs> I gotta get this. Look, applying heat. Okay, so mission accomplished. I just had to group up with the guys, and I got Rune of Chaos Ball. Bro, the only thing I wanted when I made a warlock was to play with Chaos Bolt. Now you're telling me I'm gonna have, potentially, I'm not actually sure what piece of gear this goes on, but Haunt and Chaos Bolt? Let's see, can I even use both? I cannot, it's just one or the other. And that makes perfect sense. Oh my god, that is a nutty amount of damage. Also a 12 second cooldown, 2.5 second cast, not ignoring it, right? Chaos Bolt always hits, cannot be resisted. Fuck pallies, can't wait, fuck them. And it's knowledge causes all of your fire spells to pierce, what the hell? It's knowledge causes all of my fire spells to pierce through absorption effects. So fuck pally, fuck priest? Chaos Bolt gains a high chance to be resisted when used against monsters four or more levels above my level, which is pretty much irrelevant. Okay, I'm gonna cast Chaos Bolt on this guy and let's just see how it does. Oh my god, half his HP in one hit. So this is a really big deal for me. Uh, on a personal level, I don't feel like casting dots right now. This is just fire damage though. I don't have incinerate yet. I could just reduce the mana cost, but mana is like irrelevant. This is 13 mana. It's actually, and that's probably wrong by the way, it should not be this way, but it's actually less mana for a chaos bolt than it is for a shadow bolt, which means they didn't even think about it. <laughs> you know, they were just like, just put 2% mana on this. Call it a day. What I'm really looking forward to, though, is uh, straight up getting ruined with this, right? Like, it's just in conflag and everything. Like, it's just going to be burst central. Of course, that's going to take a while, but... Well, okay, for now, let's just go with improved Shadow Bolt. Pretty much don't care about these dots at this point. Immolate, I guess, does, you know, pierce some stuff, so we can keep that. Uh, corruption, don't really need it. Okay, yo, this is really good. This is really good. Already making big waves, dude. Bounty on Murlocs. Nice. Imagine if I crit that guy. I would have literally one-shot him. Anyway, I'll go for an Immolate. Maybe go for a Fear. Curse of Agony. Maybe go for a... Ca Imagine this is a player. They just want to literally kill themselves at this moment. Look at that damage, dude. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wolf Jawbone. So at least these items I'm collecting are universal. So I already have the Wolf Jawbone. I need other things as well. I've actually already looked up what I get for that. It's just some pet boosting stuff. I mean, right now I could get a leg rune that says I get 30% dodge chance and 30% increased chance to crit, which is very interesting. It's me and my pet that gets this, which means I insta crit almost basically kind of sorta with my chaos bolt, which could be really fun. I think I want this actually on top of if I can, I can't and get it with incinerate i just realized that but maybe the demonic tactics one right this is also something that people have already found what's cool about this is that i would have up to 40 percent crit with chaos bolt and that could be very interesting if i'm really trying to one shot like that might be the play if i want sustain maybe i want the incinerate now here's the interesting thing Based on the description of both of these, as you can see, I do need to go to the Jasper Load Mine. At the Jasper Load Mine, uh, for the Demonic Tactics rune, I need to find a dead acolyte. And for Demonic Grace, I simply need to acquire an Ominous Tome, uh, which drop off of the Kobold. So, I guess we have multiple reasons to be at Jasper Load on top of the regular quest right now. Let's just go for a full set of runes. I think that could be a whole lot of fun. There is the dead acolyte that I have to find. Not quite Jasper Load Mine, but I guess close. Okay, so I inspect the body first. Further and searching his body, you find a bloodied scrap of paper as well as a curious looking artifact. And there it is, exactly what they told me I would get. So apparently I have to take this stuff back to the warlock trainer and then come back. Well, I'm actually going to do that because it actually has taken me a second. I've been killing kobolds. I've killed maybe a dozen and I got no drop. I knew I chose the right class. Okay, we're here. Spooky. I found this on the body of an acolyte. What can you tell me about it, moron? I'm not really being mean to him. I'm a warlock and that's just how we talk to each other so y'all can just relax. He says it's a vessel for fell magic. I've seen a few like it. Some other stuff. If you were to take this back to the site of the ritual, which is the dead body, you could claim this power for yourself, okay? I know I don't look mean, but actually I'm a 
a fucking menace. Okay, let's go. Okay, and we're back. The dead acolyte. Offer my blood to power the artifact. Okay, I will gladly do that today. Okay, so apparently I need to go to Gakin because if you look at this acolyte note, it literally says Gakin and Gakin is the name of the warlock trainer. I have to go back there anyway. That's why I know you can see it right here for the quest. So let's do that. Actually, I have my hearthstone set to Stormwind, so this is gonna be even easier than I thought. Literally planning ahead on accident. Gotta love it, dude. I have arrived, Gakin. Give me my free shit. And I'll be able to get my Void Walker in a moment. And special text. I believe this belonged to an associate of yours. I found him dead in the woods. Gakin eyes you suspiciously, but I don't care enough to read the text. <laughs> I think you do. Blah, blah, blah. Give you the artifact, and you give me Rune of Tactics. There it is, bro. Be careful. I will be careful with your free stuff. Thank you. And bam, Demonic Tactics. Now, this is crazy. This is, for whatever reason, melee, right? I guess maybe for meta, but uh, this is literally free crit. 10% spell crit for free. Just put it on, and you get it for free. It's completely broken, completely busted. You don't have a lot of crit for free at low levels. So, wow, okay? Okay, now I've also got to go ahead and do this as well. Stormwind Summoning Circle is what I need. I think it's downstairs. All right, here it is, the Summoning Circle. Give me my Void Walker, please. Also, who is Sobaz? Am I about to fight this guy? It's a rare. What? That's not fair. Literally just missed it. Okay, let's go. Uh, can I fear this? I bet you you can't. I can. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Tail spilled through the wall. He enrages on me. Really pretty much irrelevant, right? And there we go. Dead. And here we go. Greetings once again, Gakin. Love doing business with you. Thank you for the summon Voidwalker spell. Okay, we are literally making pretty amazing progress right now. I've got to get some soul shards to actually use this guy. But uh, he is going to be probably my demon of choice. Also, have you noticed I got no bags? Like, I just don't understand why I even pretend like it's a real thing. Like, it's literally not. Like, I, I just don't get them. I literally, at best, get one, but most of the time, get none. I can buy some, and it's cringe to have to do it, but I will. <laughs> so, I mean, I am a warlock, right? I could go tailoring. Do I care? I mean, it's level 25. I have, like, no real pressure to level up my professions because they're, like, at such a low level cap to begin with. I could get enchanting, I guess, too. Uh, I don't know why I even asked the guard because, like, it's, it's, you know what? Just forget it. Anyway, uh, Artisan well. Taylor. Oh, no, not you. Careful. Journeyman oh, Taylor. Right. It's vanilla where those titles matter. There we go. I guess I'm a tailor. This is significant because I would be able to make my own bags in the long term. So I'm just going to gun for that right now. So I'm going to keep on going. We're going to go for our third enchant super early at level 10, maybe 11. We'll see. Dude, there's like three people in trade chat selling linen bags. Like it's actually nonstop. In every city imaginable, there's a dude that's trying to make a buck off some linen. Dude, I could buy four bags from him right now. But what I'm going to do is play it normal. I'm just going to put my bolts in the uh, bank and just relax. Big brain it, you know? Save my money, I guess. I rarely do, so. Okay, maybe I just, you know, cave and I buy some bags a little bit, right? Just a little bit? It's like crack, dude. Man, what freaking small green pouches does to an MF or dude. It's like, it's, it's just unbelievable, man. I am not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm good. I, I'm strong, man. I'm genuinely strong. I'm going. I'm gone. All right. My friends, I got pretty lucky. I got the drop off the kobold and the drop off the gnolls. I made my way all the way here, completely bugged out, and had a lot of fun in the process. I made it here and summoned Sobaz, killed him, and got the Rune of Grace. Let's learn it. And there we go, my friends. I have every enchant possible right now, in terms of the slots at least. And uh, it's going to be a lot. I mean, I literally have a brand new defensive ability. Yes, I will help you, by the way. So this is crazy, but does it have a unique visual? 30% dodge on a warlock is like, what? Like, it's really good because, like, melee is my bane in many ways. And 30% uh, crit means while I'm fearing you, I'm also critting you. And I don't have a pet. Can only be used while you have a pet. Okay. Okay, so I get green on my hands, and so does this guy. By the way, it is only a six-second duration, but it's a 20-second cooldown, which is, like, for vanilla standards, really, really low. Yeah, this is just nuts, bro. All right, well, the goal at this point is getting as many levels as we can, and I think we're actually doing a decent job. Yes, there are, like, at least five level 18s on the server right now. Anyway, like I said, it's time to quest with Grimmin, the freaking name of our Voidwalker, I guess, for this playthrough and our brand new demonic grace ability. All right, guys, we're super close to 11 right now. I've got so much cool stuff, a crazy amount of crit, and I've got my void walker. I could potentially, even better than Hunter, 
be the best class right now in the game. Um, I don't know yet how everything is going to come out, but when the max level is 25, you have a pet, you're a warlock, you have fear, you have 40% crit and all this burst. I mean, I don't know. I do feel like a god right now. I'm not really sure how it gets better than what I am. I do want to see if we can solo hogger. I think that would be super fun. All right, let's go for some big burst on the chaos bolt right now. Do we crit? Bam. That's a 108 though. Don't even need to crit to be honest with you. Now we'll go on this guy, shadow bolting it up, double dotting. It's just working so perfectly and I actually have fun. I think this is really important. Like I'm level 10 and I'm actually currently having fun in vanilla WoW on this warlock. I really think that cannot be understated right now. It's not too much. It's not too little. I really think the balance has been struck. I mean, again, I could be wrong. Maybe you guys on your other classes are not having the same experience as me, but this is fun right now, in my honest opinion. And I just think that's awesome. Like I'm absolutely super excited to get to max level right now. Yeah, so the freaking combo is immolate, curse of agony, then the pet pulls him, then I chaos bolt. Uh, and I'm just gonna have to get used to clicking Demonic Grace more often, guys. It's kind of weird, because I never need the dodge off Demonic Grace, except for PvP. Because if I'm playing right, I fear, and even in that regard, I fear, but uh, my pet should have aggro all the time. Like, I send my pet in, I go for the double dot, I guess I Demonic Grace just for the crit. So that's actually a cool design, that is both offensive and defensive in this regard. And uh, there's a 106, and then before he even reaches me, there we go, boys, level 11. I will definitely take that. Oh, hello there, Hogger. No 6666 HP. I right, go in, pull him off. Nice. Go for the double dot. Very nice. Get some distance. I can always spam fear and maybe I should, uh, but for now I'm going to relax until my guy gets a little bit lower because I want that damage or if Hogger turns on me. All right. We're, okay. He's on me. Fear. Now we start being cancer, right? Go for the Immolate. Go for the Chaos Bolt. Wow, he uh, really ran far away right there. Hello? Like, that's a little too far in my honest opinion. Like, why did the fear send him that far, dude? All right, I need another Chaos Bolt here. Go for the Double Dot. Very nice. Now we're going to go for the Shadow Bolt. Come on. This is it. Go for one more fear into a Chaos Bolt to win it all, right? And BOOM! dead. I actually soloed Hogger right now on this Warlock. Uh, it probably is still very easy to do without the Chaos Bolt. However, I do feel like the Chaos Bolt greatly expedited that fight. Again, I want to reiterate, this is supposed to be vanilla WoW. I'm talking old school, where there's like dog shit talents like Pyroclasm and dog shit like Intensity. Like, why would I only need pushback protection when I Rain of Fire, Hellfire, or Soul Fire? I need it all the time, bro all the time. And yet despite that, it doesn't feel like it so far. It feels kind of private servery. It feels very, very easy to play. Hogger's dead over here too, hello? That's weird, like some Inception type shit, dude. Yeah, I don't know how to like put this into words much better than I already have. It does not feel like vanilla WoW and I just don't understand how that's possible at this current moment. There's a 156 crit, by the way. Because literally, if you think about it, the only true difference should just be the fact that I've got a couple extra concepts in here, but they're so powerful that it has genuinely greatly augmented my experience. Now, I still have other things I can find. I literally love the way they've chosen to do their version of World Forged and Chance. Um, I, I don't want to make too many comparisons in this regard, but um, we all know that I had like some pretty infamous videos back in the day where it took me 30 hours to get a single enchant only to drop it after the first couple hours or maybe five hours of playing with it. And uh, it burned me out actually at a certain level to where I literally could not do content the way that I used to do. This obviously kind of contributed to them eventually not going as hard with uh, the acquisition process for their enchants. And uh, I wonder what's going down in the minds of Blizzard right now, because as far as I can see, none of their enchants are anything difficult. They're only explorative in that regard, but not on like a crazy level. Again, I had to find a chest, remember, when we were in Dunmoreau, and that gave me haunt. A frozen murloc had to be thawed. It was that simple, and I immediately get the Chaos Bolt. I find a few extremely simple items at a low level, and then suddenly I get, you know, demonic stuff, and then all I have to do at that point is a very simple similar process to get the other demonic thing and then before you know it I have demonic tactics and grace it was so easy to pursue man and I really think that's a big deal I think if it makes you feel like you're part of the world they've done a good job and yeah I know we memed on skipping the dialogue and stuff but it does make me feel like I'm part of the world but it's easy and I think that's a big deal because vanilla
still is hard enough on a certain level. Maybe not like RPM or something like that, but it's still hard on a certain level. It may be a little bit boring and tedious on another level. And so when they give you this type of stuff that's supposed to be augmenting your experience and they don't make you fight for your life and time for it, I really do think they understand their audience right now. I do think that's significant because if we're honest, Blizzard rarely does nowadays. And uh, I am seeing something a little bit different from this part of the Blizzard team compared to what I normally see from the Blizzard team right now. Um, it's only day one. But I think it's a very, very, very good first impression for me right now. And maybe that's just enough. Maybe that's all it takes, you know? Let's go for a crit on the Chaos Bolt. Uh, all I need right now are, like, five more painted uh, armbands. And everything should be okay in that regard. Let's just do some Drain Soul as well. Get the Soul Shards. There's another painted armband. I'll take it. I do also love the fact that I've got access to regular macros because we're using that, you know, classic client. And also my tab target works properly. And that's just something you have to watch the channel to know that I... <laughs> I have a big old problem with on uh, a lot of the versions of WoW that I play right now. I just love that I can tab target everything and it goes pretty much where my brain imagines it going. Like, if you only play classic mainstream type of stuff, you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's actually a privilege. So you should feel like really privileged right now if you've never had problems with your tab target. Yeah, dude, I am feeling super crisp right now. I do think we pursue the destruction warlock path. I think we pursue it as much as we can for now. Uh, 25 means I will have the shadow burn. I should be super strong. At some point, I'm going to have 35% crit ready to me with maxed out devastation and super fast shadow bolts and immolates as well. Will I be the best PvP class? I don't think so. You know, we've saw what Paladins got, for example, but well, maybe not this version of Warlock because we also saw what Warlock got, right? Like the original version of meta that I saw was pretty ridiculous looking. There is some stupid stuff for Warlock that I can still explore and will. Yeah, it's just even better to think about, right? There are things to to explore and I will. Look at this guy trying to get a group for a hogger. Sorry, bro. I'm an absolute Chad. All right, can I get a crit? Can I get a crit? And, and, Chaos Bolt, boom. Yes, I can, 143. The crits are nice and you know what? It's pretty much double when I end up getting uh, ruined. Wow, this guy's super dead. Do I help him? Yeah, I think I help him. Let's go for a fear. Cause like, this is messed up. Maybe I, okay, I'm not taking that. If it's not my tag at a certain level, you're on, <laughs> you're on your own, bro. My compassion only extended as far as me getting the tag on that mob, right? So let's just Chaos Bolt this guy. Bam, huge crit. I just saw a guy called Boomers die to random gnolls. I'm not even sure, but that's a lot of irony right there. All right, the greatest moment of my life, massive Chaos Bolt. Okay, it didn't crit. God, I cannot believe I've got Chaos Bolt right now, though. I think one of the best moments of my life would be if we could actually fight a Pally and then uh, Chaos Bolt right through his Divine Shield and kill him. I think that would be great. The only problem is, because I'm Alliance, that might not happen that often. But seriously, it's kind of crazy that, like, any kind of Warlock sacrifice, any kind of Priest bubble, completely irrelevant to me. Completely irrelevant. It's probably enough in and of itself to grab the Incinerate, because if all of my Fire Spells, as Chaos Bolt says, are going to go through essentially any absorption effect that's so overpowered in so many matchups man oh what the hell what the hell waylaid supplies healing potion add 10 healing potions to complete the shipment what deliver to a supply officer for a reward or replace the missing goods for a larger reward oh my god you mean the enchants aren't the only thing to look out for right now do i want 10 healing potions what does this even mean? Like, deliver somewhere for more stuff, or I can also click on it, though. So this waylaid supplies concept is super interesting to me right now. Apparently, the place where I can turn this in is outside the auction house in Stormwind, so we will try that as soon as I get my armbands. Okay, so I'm assuming the supply officer is the person to go well to. Met. A waylaid shipment. The shipment's missing some items, but it will still be of some use. Thank you. If I turn this in right now and I only get one silver for 10 healing potions, not minor, actual healing, that there's no way this is right. I'm going to be pissed. I will actually be pissed. It says deliver to this person or replace the missing goods for a larger reward. What does that mean? Okay, I have looked this up a little bit. Actually, information's kind of scarce out there, but apparently this is part of a new reputation and you turn them in for the reputation and maybe it'll actually matter. So I'm going to actually give this up right now. And I got 100 rep 
with my Azeroth Commerce Authority. Okay. I am currently neutral with it. Wow, 29 more boxes, I guess, for uh, friendly. Or is that even what? I think it's friendly. Okay, so I guess we'll figure that out as time goes on. I also got this uh, Severing Axe of Power. There's no way it's worth anything right now, right? Seven silver, honestly. One man's trash, another man's treasure type of thing. And yeah, a few more bolts of linen cloth. And I think that's it for us for this video, guys. Yeah, I had a whole lot of fun with Sod today. Uh, day one was actually a very enjoyable experience. I was able to get all of the enchantments I wanted immediately, which was kind of surreal. There's still a lot to accomplish, a lot to try, the Black Fathom Deeps raid, and other classes. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see me keep playing, and also eventually maybe make more classes and check out more runes, let me know by liking the video and letting me know in the comment section below. For now though, guys, as I said, get the hell out of the way, bro. Uh, for now though, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, like I said, like and sub, but I'll see all of you on the next one. Major thanks to all the members on my channel, by the way. Love and appreciate you guys, especially while times are slow. As I said, I'll see all of you on the next one though and McDouble's out.